In preparation for my upcoming camping trip, I bought this electric burner. My wife wanted me to buy the induction, but uh, I bought the cheap one on Amazon. I bought a single burner versus the two burner. I'm going to make a video and see uh, how fast it takes us to boil water. And I'm going to be using the outlets supplied right here inside the back of the Rivian truck. And I'm gonna use the kilowatt uh, device here to monitor the electricity. First things first, we need to turn on the 110 volts. All right, we'll turn that on. And that kind of just enables us. There we go. All right, next thing, we'll put the camera in place. It almost feels like a rubber surface. It's definitely highly textured. That's pretty cool. The outside temperature now in Florida is 88 degrees. So let's see. All right, well, 92 degrees on this device. We're going to take this, plug it into the 120. First, we're going to plug this in here. We're going to reset it. We'll see how that goes. Originally, I wanted to put this device in here, but I couldn't do it because I couldn't lift this flap up all the way. So I had to plug in this extension cord. And if you look, this extension cord is extremely thick. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any voltage loss. You can see that we are currently at 119.2 volts coming from the truck itself. It hasn't cost me anything. I have the rate of 0 0.08, which is eight cents. That's my cost at, here in FPL. Uh, obviously coming from the truck, it's a little bit different. And 0, 0.00 kilowatts an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. Time elapsed, elapsed time is obviously zero. I have my water set up here and I set the water up on top of the on top of each of these so that in case it does get hot it doesn't uh, melt my plastic or whatever this material is maybe it's a fiberglass type of material um, I brought the the pot here from inside and it was a little bit colder inside obviously we have the air conditioning on uh, the current temperature on this is 87 Inside it's 84, so it's still a little bit cooler than the outside ambient temperature, but we'll go ahead and get this turned on and get it started. So we'll put the lid on. I'm gonna turn this, do, do two, two dots. Now I'm not seeing any light here, so I'm not sure if, if it's on or not on. We've been recording for a minute here my voltage is not going to change and I don't think all right so I'm not seeing anything zero kilowatts an hour what is going to happen now this device I believe was 1000 watts and I believe these are only rated at 400 watts but I was thinking you know if I kept it on a low setting I might be able to get a pot to boil there we go so I guess I had to get to one the dots before one don't count for anything I have this Light did turn on, so I feel good and comfortable about that. Let's turn it up. What would happen if I turn it up to max? So I'm a max. The light's on here. I feel good about that. I don't feel... Let me take a, take a reading of, of these and see how hot... Can I get, I'm trying to get the cord here. I'm trying to see if, if the cord's going to heat up, but it's kind of hard because I don't have a laser. I wonder if I can turn a laser on. Well, the light's on. Oh, it's just, oh, there we go. Okay, I see a laser. It's just really bright outside. 
So the plug itself right now, it's 95 degrees. It's just over outside temperatures here. Let's get a reading. All right, so we're at 95.9. I really want to measure this cable to see if the cable gets hotter as well. 97. And this cable here, 94. And my device here, it's not getting hot. So it's all just kind of the outside temperature. Okay. I still have a light here. We're at max, and we're just kind of waiting for this water to boil. This is our setup. I'm going to go ahead and fasten the GoPro to a stand so I don't have to stand here for too long. There's something starting to smoke down there. Can you see that? I'm not sure what's getting hot here. I don't know if it's the pot, I don't know if it's the pan. It's definitely getting hot. Let's see if I can move that. Is that still in the shot? Yeah, you still get your rating there. So it's 0 0.08 kilowatts an hour. The light is still on. One hundred and eighty-six point nine. I feel good about that. There's a gentle breeze too. The time, how long is the time gonna be going? It's been eight minutes. I'm seeing smoking right in the backside of this device itself. It makes me a little concerned. Let me see if I can position the camera over here. Yeah, this whole device, I see it's smoking. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up or not. That's 135 on the side there. One sixty one. This is all in Fahrenheit, folks. One fifty four. One forty. It's really starting to smoke. It's making me a little concerned. I'm supposed to take my family camping with this device. And I see the water is just starting to, it looks like it's starting to boil. We are nine minutes in. So we're at 198. So I can see steam coming out of the pot here. That's not my device here, it's steam. So I think we have boiling water. Where are we? Yep, we have boiling water. I think we're at temperature, 204. All right, folks, so 10 minutes, we have some boiling water. The light is still on, so it's looking good there. We're at 10 minutes here.
203. I'm happy with those results. I was a little afraid with this. Ooh, that's hot. This is 180 degrees. And there's a sign that says, caution, hot surface. So I want to make sure nothing touches that. Because if it does, we could have problems. If clothing on the camping trip touches it or something touches it, we could have some problems there. This plug, the temperature on the plug itself, it's 100 degrees. So this plug, the black plug from here is 100 degrees. The yellow is 96 degrees, probably because it's close to us. Let's do it over here. 95.9. Yeah, so I think we're pretty good. But this, this is metal and it's hot. It's 160 degrees. Now, of course, our burner right up here is hot too. It's 200 and, wow, it's 250, 280, 290. And again, I put it, I put it up on top of these, not on the bottom, because I didn't want anything on the bottom to, to touch the, the truck bed. Even down there, it's 150 degrees. I wonder what temperature this can withstand. I wonder what material that's made out of. Well, I feel good about that.